you guys, this Atlanta district attorney, Fannie Willis, I mean, she was that girl. Now she's kind of just like, it's kind of just like that girl. And then he tells me how much it is and I give him the money back. I don't, just like you're asking me about the money with Robin. I don't do my friends like that. So if you tell me it's a G, then you're going to get $1,000. If it, Whatever it is, I didn't ever make him produce receipts to me. Whatever he told me it was. I was trying to not make a video about this. Just because you may identify with a person, that does not mean you need to support or agree with everything they do. And one would think Fanny would come a little polished, but the way she performed, it showed that her level of judgment is just complete trash. I mean, there's no way, like, this has to be part of her master plan or something. And the people in the media who are like, oh, this is racist. Oh, how can you call someone with a law degree ghetto? That is what's wrong with society. Some of you are just completely brainwashed. I mean, what's that saying by the great Jay-Z? You can buy school, but you can't buy class. You guys, think about this. Miss Fanny, you gave the highest profile case ever to your married secret lover who you hired who has no experience and on the taxpayer's dime and so when defending yourself you went on national tv talking like you're a freaking city girl <laughs> and so there's nothing racist about saying do not sleep with your staff do not eat where you sh it's not a new concept and so there's nothing racist about saying it was a ghetto hot mess. What are we supposed to do? I mean, give her a pass because, oh, we don't want to offend. Like, what is it in 2024? You cannot, it seems like you cannot have an opinion on anyone. And this person online said, why is she ghetto? Because she is herself and refuses to assimilate or code switch to normalcy. First off, I feel the whole code switching thing is self-imposed and I'm going to tell you why. Because I feel what it comes down to is that you feel you need to change who you are to be accepted by others. And so you do one of two things. You either assimilate and be miserable or you come on live TV like Fanny or you can go somewhere else or create your own thing to break this whole being stuck in environments where you don't feel like you can be yourself. And, and listen, I get it if you have a little bit of a country swing, but you can't tell me that you for real, 50 years old, you're around polished people all the time. Like, come on, you guys, we are products of our environment and that can be either a good thing or a bad thing. And so... Um, and what did you pay for on that trip? I gave him much less cash that time, probably four or $500. And then I paid for uh, a bunch of stuff. I think we did two different wine tours that you do, which are pretty expensive. Um, I think I bought him, he likes wine. I don't really like wine, to be honest with you. I like Grey Goose. Um, I bought him- what? <laughs> People wanna talk about, oh, the whole race thing. No, black women. Be a little, I'm mad that she's on national, first off, I'm mad that she's doing this in real life. And then on top of it, she's on national TV, like, tricking off. So he is the one that would book the travel, but we need to be clear when we're talking about just because he booked it doesn't mean, like, I don't consider him having taken me any place. Let me just be honest. The only one that's ever taken somebody someplace is for his 50th birthday. I consider that I took him to Belize. And I took him to Belize because, um, you know, I don't want to discuss his personal business, but I'm happy Mr. Wade is still here with us. And I did 50 big. Like, we need to hone in on the fact that this is an educated, boss, connected woman who likes to spend her money on a man. <laughs> She's taking him on trips. And so let me get you guys up to speed. If you have not heard about this hearing, long story short, Fannie Willis is the district attorney in Fulton County, which is home to Atlanta, who brought charges against Trump and 18 others for trying to overturn voting results in the 2020 election. And now the court needs to determine if she should be disqualified from the case because she had a love affair with an attorney she hired to lead the case. And so it's not about the love itself, but it's about did she receive personal gain from the use of taxpayer funds because she paid, well, the taxpayers paid her secret lover almost $700,000, all thanks to his boo. 
And out of the three prosecutors who were hired to lead the Trump case, her boo was paid $100 more than the other special prosecutor who was an actual expert in Rigo cases. And to add insult to injury, her boo, Nathan Wade, filed for divorce literally the day after he sealed the deal on his $700,000 contract. So, I mean, I don't know. What would an, an adult, a freaking lawyer, why does what does she not understand about the idea of, of optics? I mean, what does this relationship sound like to you guys? But here's where I'm at with this. It's not so much about the price because for me, you guys know, it, I'm a firm believer in if that's your rate and someone is willing to pay you, your rate, pay you your rate, then good for you. But it's more so like, sis, he was a personal injury lawyer, a private defense attorney who who fought mostly misdemeanor crimes, but you hired him to lead a freaking RICO case. And from what I understand, a RICO case is a super specialized thing to take on. I mean, it's kind of like, do you want your family doctor to do your brain surgery? <laughs> and would you put him up against one of the highest profile cases in history? No. You remember booking a cabin? I booked lots of cabins. Did you go to a cabin with Miss Willis ever? Ever. Ever. No. First off, ladies, stop thinking that when a man has a beard, he's good looking. <laughs> Let's start there. I'm sorry, Mr. Way. I don't know you like that. So, but it's like, girl. So basically this whole hearing, Fanny and her boo, Mr. Nathan Wade, their stories never match. And it was obvious because literally their dates didn't match and their body language, their body language was terrible. You saw how he just acted in that one clip. And even one of her former friends testified to seeing her and Nathan Wade way back in 2019, hugging and kissing and which is another terrible judgment call. Like, Fanny, why are you why are you lying under oath? Where is the accountability? And so, listen, your feminism and wokeness cannot carry more weight than what's right and what's wrong. And so. What do you guys think about this? I need to know. Drop me some comments below. If you guys know anyone who's looking to buy or cash out refinance, my info is in the description below. Lending in 48 states. And, un and until next time.